What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. And you tune into another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel, for sharing it. You know, I'm all about that positivity and that motivation. And um, I like to keep you guys laced up. And, uh, you know, you got a lot of people yelling, gang, gang. But they don't even know what gang, gang means, you know. They got these people, they think, they associate with that makes them part of a gang. People they call family. People who they think care about them. But it's all an illusion, man. If people really cared about you, as far as generally, they wouldn't want to put you in harm's way. They wouldn't want to compromise your life or your freedom or your your family's lives. See, a lot of people get involved with so that they can have people they consider family because they have no real family at home and they're searching for some type of connection and uh, you know to have someone you think cares about you I don't care how tough you are as human beings this is something that we all we all desire is to have loved ones you know somebody that Races. I mean, you see it every, you know, whether it's somebody in prison who gets a visit, you know, these guys who are, uh, you know, clicked up in these institutions, pretending to care about each other, and, and uh, it's, it's all, it's all about having a connection, but bigger than that, man, um, is having a sense of self and uh, I know it's hard when you don't have a mentor or a role model or a father figure and uh, you know some people have had father figures but they it wasn't the right influence you know maybe everybody they knew was also in the gang and uh, that culture just kind of came naturally but it's a program man like anything else, it's a program that's fed to us, that is uh, implemented to create control, to um, limit movement mentally, spiritually, physically. And uh, once you can see that and you have taken the red pill, you will look at things differently. You will observe it and, 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 and realize that, you know, a lot of these people you were following and that you were idolizing, you were looking up to, are really trash. You know, they're, they're not people that are going to take you anywhere in life or people that desire to go anywhere in life themselves. You know, before you uh, embrace somebody and say that this is your home Padre or, you know, your fam or, you know, your ace boom coon, you know, have a conversation with them and, and ask them what are their goals in life, you know, where do they see themselves at in five years, ten years, you know, what are they doing for their kids, um, what is their relationship with their wife or their girlfriend, and that'll tell you a lot about a person, you know, this guy, uh, is he abusive? Does he beat his kids, beat his wife? Is he loving? Does he care about, you know, what happens to his family? If a person doesn't have any, any sense of well-being for their family, then what makes you think they would have any sense of well-being for you? You know, when you when you think you're putting in work, man, to prove yourself, at the end of the day, where did it get you? You know, 
did it did it take you you know and and, and elevate you to where now you're living in some house on the hills or on the beach and your family's financially taken care of did it pay for your your kids college tuition did it help you uh you know get a bump in and pay i mean real really man just look at it you know sit back one time and just kind of like pretend you're drinking whatever you're drinking or smoking whatever you're smoking or whatever you're vaping whatever you're snorting and just look at the people that you've been hanging out with or that you socialize with and just, just really do a, a good observation and, and, and just, you know, reflect and be like, hmm, where are these people going in life? I mean, if you don't want to go anywhere in life, hey, man, that's your choice. Maybe, you know, you enjoy keeping that type of company. But... I found that most of the people, once you talk to them, and especially a lot of people that watch this channel, they're looking to make a change. They're looking to try to find answers. And, you know, I know as a young person, it's hard to distinguish sometimes good role models from bad role models. And, you know, so it's, if you can have a kind of broken down for you it makes it easier so I'm trying to break it down for you and uh, you know the, these these rappers aren't role models and you shouldn't look at them as role models a lot of these athletes aren't role models they're just people who had uh, exceptional physical talent that were able to monetize that talent and um, you know your role model should be you know initially your parents, if you have decent parents, if you don't have decent parents, man, look outside your household and try to find you somebody that will inspire you, you know, somebody who's, who's accomplished something, maybe it's a, a local uh, doctor or lawyer or, you know, mechanic or real estate person or construction worker or business owner, there's people out there, man, and sometimes you talk to them, they'll, they'll, they'll share with you, man, if they see your trying to make a change, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll put you under their wing and mentor you, and, um, you know, as a young person, you just got to think, you know, think five, ten years down the line, man, don't think you're going to be dead, think that you're still alive, so, you know, the, the tattoos you get, you know, the stuff you put on your face, you know, depending on where you want to be at in life, that's going to be there with you for the rest of your life, you know, and people are going to judge you by that, you might not be that same person anymore, or maybe you've outgrown a lot of stuff, but it's going to be there with you, and certain people in law enforcement are going to look at that and judge you, and it's going to create their perception, so take all that in consideration before you get all that ink, you know, before you get tatted up like that, you know, think about it. And like I said, the people you're trying to represent through the tattoos, you know, what are they about? You know, are those the type of people you really want to be clicked up with? And, uh, you know, there's, a, like I said, there's a lane for everybody. And, and if that's where you want to settle at in life, then uh, so be it. But I'm just telling you, man, I've talked to a lot of gang members, been around a lot of dudes who um, are about the business, man, and at the end of the day, man, none of them wanted to uh, be stuck in a penitentiary, none of them wanted to be away from their family, none of them wanted to miss out on their kids' birthdays, and um, nobody wants to be uh, doing life in prison or on death row, you know? unless a person just a total whack job you know some of these people you got some sick individuals out there but people with sense that thought that hey man I'm a you know I'm a um, you know put in some work catch a body I'm gonna do this and do that and then they're sitting there and they're like oh man why'd I do that did it was it really that serious did that person really you know cause me that much 
uh, harm that I needed to take their life. You know, body, that's with you for the rest of your life, man. <laughs> that's something you got to live with. And at any given time, one of your so-called homeboys, that could be their ace in a hole. They get caught up on a case and they need a way out. Well, that's, that's a um, get-out-of-jail-free card. Solving a cold case. Yeah, get out of jail free. I knew someone who was doing 20-something years. And, uh, you know, for an attempted murder or uh, on, a, on a federal agent, you know, in a drug raid. And, you know, they were, you know, set up to buy some drugs and um, they were going to jack him and shot the agent. I think the agent, uh, I think one of them almost, one of them almost died. But they, they didn't know they were agents. They thought they were fellow drug dealers. And, um, yeah, got attempted murder on a federal agent. 20-something years. Was about to get out. Um, had already done damn near 20. And uh, somebody got busted on the street and told about some other bodies this individual had or supposedly had. Now, they couldn't find the bodies because the bodies were no longer there, you know. Uh, wherever they were, they'd been washed away, and you know they weren't able to find them. But rather than fight the case and risk going to trial and having this person testify, they took a deal, and luckily they got to run um, concurrent. So they took a deal for 15 on the body or bodies, and now this person's got a, um, a murder conviction on top of an attempted murder conviction. So. You think the game is soft, man. You think it's a joke. And, you, you know, gang gang is what you want to yell around. And, and you know, it, it, you're going to learn a hard lesson. You're going to get to learn a hard lesson. And um, all these so-called high-powered rappers and, you know, um, studio gang members, they lying to you because they'll never want to put themselves in. Uh, in a penitentiary cell, away from uh, the groupies and away from uh, the, the, the drinks and the parties. No, they're not going. They're going to tell quick. It won't even be. They won't even make it to the ride to the police station before they start running their mouth. And um, yeah, there's still some real ones out there, but I'm telling you, it only takes one or two to flip before everybody starts flipping. Because the last person who flips gets all the time. So they call it get down first. And that's what a lot of these cats is doing. Get down first, man. And they're going to, a, you know, they'll get convicted, go to a yard where everybody got down first. So the gang gang stuff is, 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 is dead, man. And, you know, when you look for family, man, look for people who you vision where you want to be at in five or ten years. And look at how they're living. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to be that individual. And you got to change your environment. You got to move away. You got to, um, if you have to, change your name. And um, just get away, man. It, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't punking out. It ain't being a sucker. It ain't selling out. It ain't being weak. It's being smart. And, you know, it's about elevation of self, preservation of self. And, uh, you know, before you get put in a horrible predicament, and, you know, you got to ride out something that you did, um, you know, trying to prove yourself or, you know, get put in a predicament where, you know, you got to do a bunch of time because, uh, you know, snitching is not an option. <laughs> you know, a lot of you guys think it's all cool, you know, but man, I'm going to go ahead and rat and, you know, you got to live with that too. You got to live with being a piece of trash and to be honest with you, when you tell the prosecutor, police, they have no respect for you. They look at you as you're garbage. You you were part of something, and then you're gonna tell on the same people you were part of. You're garbage. So you get no respect as being a rat. You know they'll use you, and at the end of the day, you'll just be used like some old dirty toilet paper. So think about that, man. Think about what I just said, and think about who you call your family, and all this stuff you you yell when you when you run around talking about gang gang, because uh. You know, what you hear is a far cry from reality. Big Herc 916.